So with Premiere open and my footage that I want to edit imported into Premiere, I'm ready to edit. Now the first thing to remember is that the timeline here, I've got no sequence open, but if I just drag my footage into this timeline, it will automatically create a sequence with the correct settings. But if I wanted to create a sequence first, I can do that. I say new file, new sequence, and these right here are the settings you need for the JVC. It's AVC HD footage, 1080i, and 1080i 30 60i. That's the one you want. All right, so you can do a, create a setting that way, or the shortcut, just drag and drop your footage right in. Now, if we look at this, uh, let's go ahead and look at what I've got here. I'm going to we can go ahead and um, play this through. And while it's playing, I'm going to adjust the size and scale of my footage because I like to look at things a little bigger. This default tiny version isn't great. So I want to be able to see it a little better. So you'll watch me fiddle with that as we're playing this video out. All right, so what I have right now is this lav mic, and I'm, I'm listening here so I know exactly what I'm hearing. Uh, this lav mic is running to both channel one and channel two. So my left and right channels are both recording the same thing. So that should sound normal when you first look at it. And we're looking at this in, in a, a Premiere so we can see what the audio looks like. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to switch from the lav mic to the shotgun mic. So I'm going to switch that on channel two. So now... If I tap the lav, the shotgun mic, you'll you'll notice a difference. So, so now what I'm hearing is left channel is my my lav mic right here, and right channel is the shotgun mic on the camera. We'll now see a difference, and we need to make sure we separate those things so that we can work with them separately, uh, because we may want to just scrap and toss one of those channels and just keep the lav mic here. I'm so close to the camera that the shotgun mic might actually sound pretty good, considering. Um, but if I'm you know, really far away from the camera, my lav mic is going to continue to pick up exactly the same way, but the shotgun mic is not going to be hearing me quite as well. So that's the key difference. I can be you know, 50 feet away, or whatever the reach is of the wireless signal, and still sound this good on the lav mic, but the shotgun mic's not going to hear very much. The shotgun mic is really just there for environmental sound. All right, let's take a look. So what we want to do is, in this case, I want to scrap the shotgun mic channel altogether. I just want the lav channel. But I have a problem, which is that these two are stuck together as a stereo pair. You'll notice that if I look at my audio channels, this is audio channel one. And audio channel one is a stereo combined file. So what I want to do is actually get rid of this Come over here to my files that I'm going to work with, right click, go to Modify Audio Channels. And in right now what this shows is that the clip itself will have a combined stereo channel. Left and right are in one clip, but I want to have two clips and I want them to be mono. And so what this now says is that my audio channel on the left will be clip one, and my audio channel from the right will be clip two. So I say OK, and I've now modified these here in my bin. But once I bring them back into my project, you'll notice that I now have audio channel one and audio channel two separate audio files. So the first thing I want to do to get rid of the shotgun mic audio, since in this case, I'm shooting an interview and I don't want that environmental sound kind of getting in the way. So I just want the lav mic. I can't do that right now because if I delete it, I'm going to delete everything. So I undo that. So what I need to do is unlink it. I can press Command L on the keyboard or we can unlink here by right clicking. And now each of these is an independent track. I, now, I know that the shotgun mic here, as an example, if I play through this, exactly the same way, but the shotgun mic is not going to be here. Right, so this one's not what I want. I'm going to delete it. Okay, I'm just going to delete it right off. And right now, I'm still good to go. You can see over here that my audio levels are on both channels, left and right. So now I'm, I'm good. I have my lav mic here. It's working. I can see the audio on both channels as Make it sure plays. So it's exactly how I want it, um, and I fixed it.
right? The main thing to remember, I had to go back over here, go and modify the audio channels, make sure that my clip one and clip two are both mono and I'm good to go. Now, uh, in this case, I wanna show you another, another problem and I'm gonna go ahead and erase these. And I'm actually gonna modify them back just for the sake of the example here. I only want one channel there. Okay, and on this other clip, you could see right away if we zoom in, and I zoom in on the audio down here, that I have a problem. So, so let's look through this, let's look at this clip. Another quick capture I wanted to make sure we see is that now I have my lav mic with left channel only, and the right channel is empty because I have my shotgun mic set incorrectly. So I'm recording nothing on my right channel, and I have my lav mic on the left. So uh, I wanna look a little bit at how to fix that so it sounds right. Okay, so notice as this is playing or I'm scrubbing through it, look at the levels, the left channel and the right channel. When I have other footage over here, you can see that I have two things moving here. This is only on the left, so I only hear this out of my left ear, and that's not, that's not good. I also don't want that. So uh, and you could do it the same way we just did it, right? I could go over here, change the uh, audio channels, but this time I'm gonna try it a different way. So this time I'm here in the timeline, I can right click and uh, do the same, same idea. Audio channels. And this time what I'm gonna say is, you know what, since my left channel has good audio and I have nothing on my right channel, I'm just gonna make both channels use the same source as the left. So when I say okay, lo and behold, right. now I have left, left channel only and the right channel. The same track on both tracks, right? So that's another way to do it. If you just want to scrap one and toss the other, you can do that. Uh, and it's pretty easy, right? You've got two methods. You can do it right here or you can do it through the audio channels in the bin. So an even better way to avoid all of this hassle is to change your preferences on your computer. So quickly, I'm gonna grab a new project. I'm gonna import some footage. If I drag it into the timeline, it makes a sequence. If I look at my audio settings here, you can see that it's a stereo track on one file. It's not the dual mono that I want, so I cannot separate these. So I'm gonna clear this, and I'm gonna go up here to Preferences, Premiere Preferences, and uh, I know it's under Timeline, and right here, there's a setting for default audio track import, essentially. And mono files will be treated as mono, and stereo media will be treated as stereo. But if I change that to mono, now stereo media will be treated as mono, which is what I want so that each channel left and right are separate mono tracks. So now, just having made that change in my preferences, if I come in here, grab a file, import it, drop it on the timeline, now, lo and behold, if I look at my audio tracks, I've got, make that big enough to see that real well, two independent, A1, A2 here, two independent tracks. So I can unlink those, and I can quickly edit and remove one if I need to, right? And remember, after you've done that, you still want to select them and link, link this back so that it will work together and function uh, you know, together as a single track. Because if I don't link them, then I may end up trying to move this track and then I've lost my sync. So quick tip again, that's it. Just do it in preferences. Got it right here. Oh, if I opened it up on general, I just got to go down to timeline and you can adjust stereo meter there.